Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian, a medical student from Australia. And today we are celebrating 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is absolutely incredible. So thank you to everyone who has followed along, that have left me kind comments, that have liked the videos. I'm just so glad to see that you guys find the videos interesting, helpful, useful, and I really appreciate you guys being here. So today I'm gonna to be answering your questions that you've left for me on YouTube and Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first question is from Daniel the Lamb, who says, break up with Deb and date me instead. Wait, Soz, that wasn't a question. Can you break up with Deb and date me instead? Um, Daniel, you're a, you're a ravishing man, honestly. Um, I wish I could, but Deb's here to stay. So that is a no. You look like Paolo Avellino, a famous celebrity in the Philippines. Please notice this. So I'm not sure who that person is. Let me actually look him up now. Paolo Avellino. Ooh, so he's a Filipino actor. He's a good looking bloke. I'll flash a picture on the screen now. And there's your comparison. Okay, so this next question has popped up a lot, but from Miss Meh, she asks, how old are you? Um, I am 23. Video you're most proud of. You might say this is a lame reply, but I'm most proud of my first video because I actually had the balls to upload it. Um, and looking back onto it, it wasn't the best video, but um, I still did it, I still stuck with it, and here we are, 100,000 subs later. What is the best thing about living in Sydney? I honestly think one of the best things about Sydney is the harbour. If you walk around Darling Harbour, Barangaroo, Circular Quay, it's absolutely spectacular. You can get some beautiful waterside views, which you don't see really anywhere else. Have you ever tried Indian food? And do you like Indian cuisine? So I've definitely had a lot of Indian food in the past. Um, I really like it. It's just that when you order some of the more spicy curries, um, I can't really handle too much spice. Yeah, I should maybe have it again sometime. What's your favorite Tagalog word? I like the word uh, galing galing. I'm not even sure if I said that correctly, but my mom says it means good boy or good good. So whenever my mom tells me that I've done something good, I'm like galing galing. Is medical school hard? No. No, but seriously, it is whatever way you want to interpret it. Yes, there will be times you get bombarded with work, especially during exam periods when there's so much content to cover. But really, it's all about balancing your time, making sure that you're with people that will support you, that can help you out, and making sure that you're actually passionate and interested in the concepts and the content that you're learning about. Because if the interest is not there, it's gonna really be hard and difficult to stay motivated in the long run. Is med school hard? It can be, it depends on who's there to help you out when times get tough. Roland Michael asks, how do you pronounce Piri? Well, I just pronounce it then, it's Piri. A lot of people say Piri, a lot of people say Pierre, um, but it's Piri. Jens HL asks, does studying the whole day make you happy? I think anybody who studies all day every day will go insane, so <laughs> no, it doesn't make me happy. I'm more content when I'm studying, it's just relaxing. If you went 10 being the happiest thing or the most enjoyable thing and zero being, I don't really want to do this, um, studying would be somewhere like a four or a five. Okay, so Mikhail Salim asks, do you have any skincare routine? Yes, I do. Let me show you. Step one, wash face. Step two, dry face. Step three, profit. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Sorry, I'm gonna break someone's heart here, but I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, so I'm gonna have to go Lord of the Rings. Do you like BTS? Um, I've never really listened to many of their songs, um, but I've seen them, they're really, really big now. They're huge and they have really pretty faces. Honestly, the guys have the most beautiful skin that I've seen on the planet. Profit. Next question is from Otto Risotto, who asks, how did you name your penguin? So the little penguins back there, you've got Pudolf, Bruce, and Bublo. <laughs> I named Bruce, Originally, I wanted to call him Blue Blow because he was blue and you know, you're chucking a blow, it's Blue Blow. But Deb thought that was stupid. So instead we went with Bruce because we wanted to give them a human name. And we just found it funny that you can put a human name like Bruce to a little cute penguin like Blue Blow. No, it's not Blue Blow, it's, it's Bruce, okay, it's Bruce. Darvi Ghani asks, what is your advice to aspiring med students in high school? My best advice if you're trying to get in is to find a group of friends 
who also have the same passions and interests as you to acknowledge that there's going to be a lot of work and you have to put a lot of time. So you have to be willing to make that commitment in the long run. A lot of people give up because they can't imagine themselves spending 10 to 15 years of studying before they get the job that they want and to choose it for the right reasons. So you don't want to be going in there expecting that you're going to get a status boost or that you're going to have all these financial gains. Do it because you're passionate about it. Do it because you're interested in it. And that's really going to be the formula for success. It's Joel George. Hi. Hi. JN243 ask favorite microorganism. I don't really know. Okay, Kins410 asks, what's your favorite song? So the thing with favorite songs is that they change every month, but my favorite song of this month would have to be All I Need by Kai Dreams. I heard his whole album Nice Colors, and uh, I've just been listening to it ever since. Uni Melb or Uni Sid for medicine? Sydney. Totally not biased. Are you good at chess? Um, no, I'm pretty bad at chess. I know how the game works. I know the mechanics. I've played it a bunch of times uh, But I really haven't put in the time to get good at it But my dad and brother play so I would like to get better one day so I can beat them What is your current favorite romance book and author? Tally and O'Connor's clinical examination uh, Leah Frank says if you didn't get accepted into UCID, what would have been your second option? Well, I got offered for ANU so that would have been the second option and if I didn't get any medicine offers at all, I probably would have done a PhD. Ares Gonzalez says, do you try just as hard in med school as you did in pre-med? And the short answer is no. Don't tell my dad about that, he'll get mad. But um, in pre-med, it's important to get good grades because you wanna try and maximize the chances of getting into med school. But once you're in med school, you don't need amazing grades because it's based on pass fail. So as long as you're getting the pass threshold, then that's okay. And so I've taken a different philosophy to studying. Instead of trying to rote learn everything for an exam, I'm trying to learn more conceptually so I can apply it into clinical practice. So I might miss out on a few niche facts um, when it comes to the final test, but at least I'll understand the major things that I'll need for a patient interaction or when a consultant might ask me a question on the wards. Hi, I'm from the Philippines. Do you have any Filipino traditions that you still do? So probably not a whole lot nowadays, but when I'm with my Filipino relatives, we get a massive lich on and we eat that. So a question from Ananya Suri. I want to ask you how you overcome procrastination and keep yourself calm during exams. So in terms of overcoming procrastination, there's a few things that I do. One of them being the Pomodoro technique, one of them having accountability partners because that way they're gonna ask you, have you been doing the study mate? And in terms of keeping yourself calm, I think as long as you've done the preparation and you've made sure that you studied as best as you can, there's no reason to be nervous. And if you're feeling nervous, it's because you're either underprepared or it's just a hard exam. And everybody has to deal with that at some point in their lives. Ashi asks, how many confessions you get till now and have you rejected any of them? If you mean confessions in terms of love confessions or like crush confessions, um, that's a zero. <laughs> in high school, I wasn't um, the most sought after guy. That's me in year 12. But now I have Deb, so that's really all a man could want. Neon says, I don't have any questions, just an advice. Don't worry too much about the negative comments you get. Um, thanks so much. Angel says, it seems like you're always a positive person, but is there anything that can make you feel kind of depressed, sad, pessimistic? And if you do, how do you make yourself feel positive and happy again? Um, so there's plenty of things um, that can get you down in the dumps. Doing poorly an exam is one of them for me. Going through a rough time, say with your friends or with a relationship or anything like that. And I think the best way to combat that, what I found is really helpful is I like to play guitar, I like to play video games, I like to make sure that I'm hanging out with some friends who can support me. You just really need to take yourself away from that negative thing going in your life and put yourself around positive people or around positive influences and do something that uh, makes you feel good. And I think there's no real solution with these type of things. It's just about giving yourself some time. So George P asks, how did you and Deborah meet? And how social is med school? Is it easy to make friends? Are there cliques, groups, etc.? So the first one, how did Deb and I meet? We met back in honors when we were both doing our research projects. We were friends at first, um, got to know each other better, and then it sort of progressed from there. And now we're both medical students. But number two, how social is med school? I think med school is pretty social. It depends if you're a social person or not. I'm more insular with my friends, with my groups. I keep to myself a lot of the time and there's definitely plenty of opportunity to get involved, whether that be joining like the pediatric society or the general practice society. So there's plenty to do as long as you want to get involved and as long as you're putting yourself out there. Would you rather live a short, healthy life or a long one, but you're completely paralyzed? I'd probably say a short, healthy one, but I'm defining short, healthy one as living till I'm 50. If there's any advice you'd like to give to your high school self, what would it be? And if 17 year old Sebastian is watching, I would tell him to 
not overthink things, stop being as nervous because no one cares as much as you think they do, um, to get yourself out there, to put your hand up a little bit more, and just to try not to be as shy as you were. What is your favorite anime? P.S. If you haven't already, please start Attack on Titan. I don't have a favorite anime because I don't watch too many, but Deb watched Attack on Titan. She said it was the best thing ever and she couldn't stop singing Sasageo, Sasageo. So yeah, it's stuck in my head and I'm definitely gonna get onto Attack on Titan. Cats or dogs? Dogs, coffee or tea, tea, summer or winter, winter, because you can wrap up. In my Udi, if you could speak any other language one would it be, it'd be Chinese because I'm trying to learn it at the moment. Do you think money is sexy? No, the person is. Money's just a bonus if there is any. Do you regret anything that has happened to you? Not off the top of my head. Celebrity crush, it would probably still be Halsey. So, hope I answered most of them. How much time do you play video games? It depends on the time of the semester or where I'm currently at with med school. It's been holidays, so I've been playing a lot. I mean a lot, like, I'm saying like four hours a night a lot. <laughs> so my mates and I have been grinding um, Team Fight Tactics on League of Legends. We've also been playing um, Brawlhalla, which is like a Smash-like game. But during the semester, I try to delete all my games to make sure um, that I'm not distracted. And the first thing to staying productive is to eliminate all distractions. And that's how I balance study in games. Niata G asks, where do you get your penguins? Um, I get them more from Miniso. What is your MBTI personality type? I think last time I checked, I was INTJ, introverted, intuitive, thinking and judging. Jobs you've done to get the gadgets. So by gadgets, I think you mean iPad computer, but I've done a few jobs. My first one was when I was 14, I worked at, as a dishwasher in a cafe. And then my next job was, I think early university. I worked as a bartender for a few months but I was very new to it, so I only did basic things like pouring beers, pouring wines, none of the fancy cocktails. And then shortly after the bartending job, when I was in about second year of undergraduate, I worked at Aldi. And I was there at Aldi for like three years. And that's a big grocery chain here in Australia, and I think they came from Germany. Uh, Preeti asks, how much time, on average, do you take to make and edit a video, and does it affect your study plan? So I try to work my videos around my studying, so I allocate a day off um, solely for YouTube. And it takes a bit of time. I'm still pretty slow at it, even though I've been doing it for over a year. In terms of filming and creating the script and planning the video, that takes roughly maybe three to four hours. And then editing might take anywhere from eight to 15 hours, depending on how big the project is. That's why I have to really organize my study blocks around it. Yath Prem asks, how do you deal with YouTube dislikes and do you feel it hurts you or your channel grow? So YouTube dislikes, I just, put it beside me. Some people are gonna dislike your content no matter what you do, and that's just part of the game. I don't think it hurts channel growth as long as your dislike ratio isn't completely ridiculous. I think it's normal for everybody to get a few dislikes here and there. John V. Rye says, you have a girlfriend, right? So is she a temporary girlfriend or will you marry her? She's 100% a temporary girlfriend that I'm going to throw out after med school and find a new one. Applications open again for 2023. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up the Q&A. Thanks to everyone that submitted a question. And if I didn't get to yours, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it there. Thanks again for all the support that you give me on the channel. I'm super grateful and I'm really excited for what's to come in 2021. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to see more content. And until next time, this is Sebastian, stay sharp. <laughs> yes or no?